So I am actually wrapping these samples in plastic bags so that I can take them in my backpack and hopefully they won't get damaged. I'm going to wrap each one in a plastic bag so that the edges don't get rubbed off, right? Um, hopefully that'll help keep them nice longer. And then I'm going to hand carry these on the airplane. A lot of companies, you know, that have more money, they ship their products to the conference directly, but it costs a lot of money. They actually charge you for storage and shipping. So you pay shipping on the way there, then you pay storage in their warehouse for as long as it stays. And then you also will pay for labor. A lot of these conferences are unionized. So to get it out of the warehouse, um, they will then charge you for the labor and all that stuff to deliver it to your booth. So uh, I'm gonna make these three boxes fit in my backpack. And that's all I'm gonna take is gonna be the cell sheets, the products. Um, I'm gonna have to skip my normal travel stuff like, you know, my notebooks and my planners. And um, maybe I'll take one little tiny book, but I gotta take the important stuff and make sure it gets there. So product samples, cell sheets, and laptop going in the backpack, hand carrying. For backup, carbon copy sales order forms. Buy them at Staples just as a back, backup or, you know, if you just want to go old school, it's very handy to have. Just write the order, hand them the copy, come home, type it up in the computer, do it more properly when you get home. It's fast, it's easy, it's traditional, and it's a good backup to have. Okay, little tipping... <laughs> little tip for traveling here's a ball of rubber bands Got a whole bunch of messy cords here my square I've got a USB-C to USB adapter for my computer here and I'm going to wrap all these up real nice organize and then put them in this little bag and this is going to help keep my backpack organized and make sure that these little small pieces like this don't get lost and I can quickly and easily find them and grab them when I make a sale or I need them. So let's put that right in there. So here's the little bag, square, square. This thing is super small. I don't need the box, so let's take it out of the box and put it in. Anything you can do to help reduce amount of stuff and garbage and steps that you have is really, really handy. So this is a USB-C, so this goes in the Mac and converts to standard USB. So that's gonna go right in there. And we're gonna throw away the box, don't need that. And then we're gonna wrap up all these cords with the rubber bands. All right, rubber bands, cords. This one's for my watch. So this one's actually already wrapped a little bit. It has one of these things on it. In one of my previous videos, Jeremy, a sound technician, one of my alumni who is this amazing sound technician now, he um, works for barn builders and all sorts of amazing programs. And he really recommends to keeping your wires nice. The trick to keeping your wires nice is to do this over under loop. I don't do it. I, if I had extension cords, big extension cords like he uses all the time and thousand dollar equipment, I think I would, but this stuff is like a dime a dozen. And I think I'm going to take that out of there so that it fits in better. So if you unplug the cords here off of the brick, you know, unplug the cords, but make sure that you've got a brick for each cord. Well, maybe not a brick for every cord. I'm gonna take one, two, three bricks, three cords, because I want want the power charger for my laptop, right? I need power charger for my laptop. So this is for the laptop. This is for my watch. Uh, this one's gonna be, this cord is gonna be for my phone. 
right? So that one goes with this brick. Put that in there. And then the last cord that I have here, let's put all that in there, is actually to connect my iPad to my laptop so that it will actually serve as a, um, as like a Wacom tablet. So this is a USB-C to iPhone or laptop. So I'm gonna take this one, it doesn't need a brick because my iPad can be charged off of my laptop or it can use the cord that the laptop was using. So this is a connector cord. This is so I can edit video and connect my laptop and my iPad. There we go. Nice little handy zip bag. Oh, it's heavy. But now when you put it in your backpack, it doesn't get all tangled on other stuff. So right in the backpack, it goes. There we go. Oh, it's heavy. It's gonna go in this pocket on top of the back, the boxes, right there. All right, we're getting there. We're almost packed.